All right, guys, I'm going to be out sick today and tomorrow. So for today, we are going to be doing what we call thumbnail sketches uh, for a logo. So you're going to come up with a brand new company that doesn't already exist. And this company can make anything. It can be food, sports related, uh, video game related, totally up to you. I chose to do a donut company for mine. So come up with a name. And again, what we're doing is something called thumbnail sketches. So they don't have to be extremely detailed. Uh, they're just getting your ideas down in four different ways. So they should be quite a bit different from each other, but all for the same company. And this is something that professional graphic designers do when they work for a company. Uh, they wanna give them a lot of ideas to choose from in the beginning stages of designing a logo. Um, so that's what we're kind of playing off of here. So we're using Sketches School. Um, you guys could use the stylus uh, that are in class or if you have your own, feel free to use any of those. I know you guys are pretty familiar with Sketches School, but I just wanna show you a couple tools uh, that are gonna help you out with this, right? Um, so first off, remember you could change the color just by clicking um, or if you click and hold, uh, it gives you a lot more options for changing it to exactly what you want it to look like, right? Uh, another thing you could do is if you click and hold on the screen, uh, this little eyedropper will appear and you could select colors that you've been using on your drawing already, right? So say I want to make one of these donuts, I could grab that donut color and if I click the ABC, it gives you all these pre-made shapes that are pretty nice. Uh, say you want to make a perfect circle, okay? Um, so again, I could select different colors and slowly build using these different shapes. So I know I have everything lined up the way that I want, okay? Uh, another nice thing is doing lettering. So make sure you have your color selected first, and then you can select any of these different fonts and type in your word or words that you want to use and then we could resize it uh, you could angle it you could put that wherever you want that to go and then you just got to hit the check mark right uh, another thing that you might run into is as you're making these four thumbnails we do want them to be all on one uh, image so it's going to be easy to turn this in so if things start to get out of place or they're a little bit too big you could use the knife tool and just circle whatever it is that you want to change the size of and you can enlarge that you can angle it move it to a different spot just so it's not in the way um and you could also copy and paste so you hopefully notice when i selected that it did copy um so then i could hit uh paste again let me circle it again so it says copied now i could go down and if I didn't have this image in, I could paste and then that give, would give me a second one, okay? Um, so that's another option that you guys could use. Um, so again, we're doing four thumbnail sketches. They should all be quite a bit different, but we do wanna use the same colors for the most part. So that's why they're all gonna be on the same image. Uh, when you guys finish, just save this to your photos and then attach it into the assignment on Google Classroom. All right, have fun, have a great break, and I will see you guys when you get back. Tomorrow, you guys are just going to be playing the drawing game uh, with the sub, and again, we do have that shorter schedule. All right, guys.